Hi, my name is uh, Wojtek and we are in my workshop, Metaphoric Tools, where I'm building uh, shamanic drums and Native American flutes and uh, Celtic harps. Today I would like to show how to tune a shamanic drum to be able to play on a well-tuned drum uh, in every conditions because once you become experienced you'll be able to tune a drum within one or two minutes whatever the weather conditions will be. When you take your drum and it sounds very flat, like this for example, and you feel the membrane is very soft, then you know that it requires stretching in order to tune the sound and for the drum to be very resonant. When you receive your drum, usually the ropes will look like this. So they are tied together in two circles and the rope finishes here with a knot. So the first thing you really do is you untie this knot and untie both circles until you reach the primary knot of the rope. I will show it in a second. You simply pull it out the first part is usually loose in order to make the tuning very easy and fast. Approach the first knot which is very tight and you can feel the tension and you can recognize it by the fact that the ropes cross in this place. Once you reach this point, you simply continue using the same knot. So to make the knot, you pull the successive rope over this pair of two ropes. Then you pull it under the second one. I'm right now connecting these two. Over the first one, looking from the left in this case. And then under both of them. It's really very simple. This is more or less uh, the effect that should be visible once you finish pulling the rope in, in between the, the other two ropes. And then you simply pull the successive rope to create the tension, which causes these ropes to cross, so the length shortens and the tension becomes bigger. And you do repeat the same action until uh, you reach the point when you like the sound of the drum. I'm uh, fully aware that when I go outside and want to drum in the forest and don't have a fire near me, then the height will go down. So I always stretch it a bit extra. If the drum is as soft and flat as the one I showed, it will usually take quite a few knots until the drum is tuned. And now, if there is still more tension required, we, we begin making another circle with the same knot, but uh, now using the other two ropes from two different uh, knots made in the first circle. So now I will choose these two because one is coming from this knot and one is coming from this knot and when they cross they will go like this. If I would use these two they would just simply come together and may create no tension. If you feel the, the tension is very big then sometimes I use 
every second pair of the ropes, which also creates uh, interesting design. You can use every every third one, every third pair of lines in the second circle, etc. So the the tension is equally distributed. If you receive a drum from a metaphoric tools workshop, usually there is plenty of space to enable a simple and fast tuning before you need to untie everything and start uh, from the beginning, which will take you a bit more time. So now when I'm satisfied with the sound and the tension, Uh, this is uh, fine at the moment. The membrane is very tense. The way you finish is really up to you. It doesn't matter however you like it. I made it like this and this is the end of the rope. Or sometimes I finish like this with more tension and with the ropes closer which just gives this effect but really anyway is good as long as the rope is not just uh, loose that can cause uh, a resonance. Uh, most often the best sound is neither in the center nor on the rim but rather in the in between. Because in the center it gets quite flat and near the rim quite weak and higher. And because uh, this is a natural row hide, each place on the membrane will uh, sound differently. And it, it is really worth experimenting with the sound and listening. Because once you do that, you will find that there are spots that are your favorite and works best for you. beater to make a gentle sound on the rim then you hear only the rim resonating on the membrane which can create sometimes a very interesting effect and just have fun with it Right, so now you should uh, be able to tune your drum. Of course, should you still have some unclarity, you can always contact me on email uh, through our website. I wish you all the best on your journeys. Thank you.